Johannes, thank you so much for being here. We talk about the principle of Sabbath. What would you say is of big importance about this principle? Well, first of all, it's, it's interesting. It's uh, for, 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 for Orthodox Jews, this is the most important uh, thing there is, the most important yeah. um, of the commandments. It's actually a commandment God himself kept. So yeah. it's something like inscripted in, in, in reality itself, in the creation already there is the Sabbath. So I think biblically sp spoken, it's of highest importance. And secondly, for our postmodern times, it's of greatest value. I just checked out that within one year in Germany, 16 billion euros are spent wow. only on deficits caused by lack of sleep. Mm. So, so the ec economic value of sleep is absolutely underestimated. Yeah. So I think we, we live in a society that's absolutely driven. We need to rediscover the beauty yeah. of Sabbath, definitely. We are a restless uh, society, right? Yeah, yeah seem to. So uh, it's like a principle that we have to establish in our personal life. Yeah. How do you do that personally? How yeah, first, do, first the of rhythms. All, yeah, I, I, I love the way you frame it. It's something you have to establish. Mm -hmm. Like brushing your teeth, you don't have to reconsider every single day if this makes yeah. sense or not. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like a, a rhythm you have built into your into the fabric of your everyday life. Yeah. And spiritual disciplines is the same thing. Sometimes mm -hmm. we are so charismatic, it's like, uh, I want to be led by the Spirit. You don't have to be led to be, uh, by the Spirit to brush your teeth, right? <laughs> exactly. You don't have to be led by the Spirit to keep your Sabbath. So mm -hmm. it's a rhythm that you have impl to implement. Mm -hmm. So I would say there is a daily part, there is a yeah. weekly part, and there is a yearly part. Mm -hmm. So you need one time per day at least where you can, yeah. can come down, otherwise mm -hmm. you, you're kept in a constant rush. Second thing is, I think we have to establish that there is wisdom and godly wisdom in the seven day thing. Mm -hmm. So we as a family, we really try to, 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 to celebrate Sunday in a beautiful way. Yeah. And the third thing is for me personally, I try to take two or three times a year, a time of two or three days where I'm gone alone in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm pretty glad that I have the chance and my wife has kids. In the sense. And then even in the summer, our the way we do holidays has shifted over the last years. Mm -hmm. So now I, I combine it with a digital detox. So I leave my cell phone back yeah. home, which is, which is interesting because even people yeah. on the beach, everybody's checking their mail. Yeah. Did you have any trembling in your hands? <laughs> well, it was awkward for the first time, <laughs> yeah. but I got used to it. No, but it's, it's crazy. Even you see mm -hmm. people on the beach, they're all yeah. checking their emails. It's true. Yeah. Absolutely. So it keeps us going. I yeah. think we need to, to learn Sabbath, even in a dig yeah. a, there is digital Sabbath as yes. well. Yes. It shows also we are sometimes not capable of, of resting. Wow. That's what I realize in my life sometimes. So what, what do you suggest for people who are watching now? How can I get this, this rhythm? How can I establish it? You come from a Catholic back way, uh, background. Um, what are the the treasures that you found out for yourself i mean there are more questions there because what you what you were saying like we're, we're even afraid of yeah of, of I, that that's a deeper thing to mm -hmm. ask oneself what makes me afraid what could happen what could possibly happen yeah so i think it's 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 very good if you feel that you're afraid mm -hmm. to, to stop because it's not the way the thing is not that there is too much stress yeah. actually we are looking for it mm -hmm. we're addicted yeah. to stress mm -hmm. so what the Catholic tradition emphasizes the role of patterns and rhythms, yeah. whereas the evangelical, the charismatic tradition emphasizes the individualism. Like, I do what I feel called to, which mm -hmm. is good, but it's yeah. only one part. So the Catholic would have like a, a prayer time in the morning, in the afternoon, in the mm -hmm. evening, at the night. So you have a, a form of rhythm. The thing is, your soul does need a pattern. It needs mm -hmm. a rhythm. Yeah. So you have to create your own. It has nothing basically to do with Catholicism. It was yeah. the same in the Old Testament in the temple. Mm -hmm. So, But of course, for many people, going to a, a, a monastery is a help because monastery is a way of living is created 1,500 years ago. Yeah. The place I grew up there in Germany, there is a monastery that was founded in 766 AD and wow. they're still going. Yeah. Wow. I mean, ICF is now 25 years old. Exactly. So this yeah. is 1,250 years, something like that. And yeah. they're still daily praying. So there is a rhythm. You can learn something from that. Mm -hmm. And even... I would say Europe was built and was evangelized by monks and monasteries. Yeah. So I think there are treasures to, to learn and to find out. Yeah. Thank you so much, Welcome. Johannes, for these words. I love those questions. <laughs> yeah.